and welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Aisha and today we have another empties video we have September's empties video and to do empties as you saw from the thumbnail my basket is very very full I even upgraded to a bigger basket and we still managed to overfill it we'll get into that in a minute I've just got a few quick little like I don't know just like some things to discuss first off my hair really needs washing we're not going to discuss that please just ignore it Second off, today's been a really long day for me. I have, I mean, it's only like, what? It's four o'clock. I feel like I've done the whole week already. It's been a long day. So if I ramble, if I lose topic, I don't know, just stick with me, okay? It's been a long day. So my sister just passed her driving test, like literally an hour ago. This house is just crazy at all times. I'm expecting people to come in from work soon. So yeah, I'm trying to film as much as I can about house is quiet, but I doubt that that will last very long. <laughs> also, next clearance sale, so it's the end of the summer sale. Bath and Body Works has been included. And today we finally saw a further reductions that we really desperately needed. If you saw my last video, you saw me kind of ranting about the whole £10.50 fine fragrance mist price point when they were £10 on a special offer last week I think they heard me because they put them down to five pound five pound for a full-size fragrance mist from 18 the mini ones are even down to five so it's so worth picking up the full size you've got full-size body creams and lotions at five pound um, moisturizing body washes at six pound for some reason the shower gels are sticking at eight I get on it it's incredible it is a tropical range including like Waikiki Beach coconut pink pineapple sunrise passion fruit banana flower or whatever that one is uh cocoa paradise loads more such a good sale i have done another little order and i'm waiting for that to come in it should come in at the beginning of october so i will have that for you guys as well i wanted to get this empties video up a little bit earlier i'm filming this on the 26th it'll probably come out on the 27th but that is because i need to do my summer project use up for gnarly and i also need to do my winter introduction so i wanted to get these videos out just slightly earlier towards the end of the month so i didn't really think we were going to finish anything up before the actual like 30th end of the month so just thought we'll just do it today but there's one item i'm technically kind of cheating on but we'll get to that and there is good reason for that so like i say you saw in the thumbnail my basket was pretty full i actually upgraded to one of the larger ikea bins like this is the larger version um this is just my home items and non bath and body works items this whole bin is full and then this kind of medium sized bath and body works bag is full of bath and body works and other shower gels we need to just dive into it a little bit of context for the month my mum and dad went on a holiday me and jay went on a holiday my little sister and her girlfriend moved out we've had like periods of like the at one point there was loads of us in the house for like the first week of september and then coming through to the second and third there was like up to three to five people missing okay we are ready and if you haven't already grab a drink grab a snack have a toilet break because i know this is going to be a long ass video i love long videos if you don't i'm sorry i ramble okay let's address these items because these are always so bulky in the box we have some laundry items i love talking about laundry laundry is another way of getting sent in my life so why not so we have the comfort this is the new formulator sun shiny days this has top notes of mandarin mid notes of jasmine and base notes of cedar wood i know this is what my family just generally use it's nice it's definitely like musky fruity floral which basically is the nose like woody fruity floral it's good really like the comfort formula and these last ages but you cannot beat my absolute favorite this is my comfort um this is the apple blossom version this is top notes of apple mid of jasmine and base of musk i love this it smells like a floral apple but not like a powdery floral like a fresh floral it's so good for all year round this is the old style bottles this is my last one in this old style but they've reformulate it repackage it so i'm happy and then this was just kind of like on a whim i love an aldi shop and they had these limited edition like seasonal new fragrances i saw them on instagram a couple of times this is the pear and cider and they were also doing a pumpkin spice one that everyone was going crazy for but this is the alma so soft pear and cider fabric conditioner up to seven days freshness this smells so good not as good as my apple blossom one like this is definitely more on the woody even like burnt woody side I definitely definitely get the cedar and then the pear is just like that kind of tart crisp fruitiness in the back this was so so good thoroughly enjoyed this one not as much as my apple blossom but i think a great alternative for the autumn time okay so we have some hand soaps i think hand soaps was slightly 
affected by the less amount of people in the house this month so we don't have as many as usual but we do have the Baileys of Bond Street this is in rose and raspberry and this was in the bathroom this has top notes of blood orange, bergamot and rose, middle notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, lychee and pe peony and base notes of bourbon, vanilla and crystalline musk. I wouldn't say it's such a complex scent as it makes it seem. It is just rose but like not the powdery rose. Okay not a favourite I don't know, probably wouldn't repurchase. I'm gonna try and do my best of saying whether I repurchase or not, because I know that's the whole point of these MDs videos, is like, if I recommend them or not. This was the Hand Candy Cleanse and Hand Wash. This was just one of these generic ones that was brought out during like the pandemic when everyone went crazy for selling antibacterial hand soaps. I think this was from Boots, maybe. They had them for like 50p at one point. Don't think this had like a scent to it. A little bit citrusy in the bottle. I don't really remember it on the hands. I think we just used this up again in the bathroom. Use that one up. It's antibacterial hand wash 50p. Yes, obviously we're going to repurchase it, but we definitely don't need any hand soaps just yet. I can see some deodorants. So this is the Shaw. This is the 48 hour cotton dry. A classic. Smells great. Works great. Always pick them up if they're on offer. And then we have my absolute favourite. We have the Shaw. We have a full size pear and then a mini passion fruit. I took this on holiday and used this up. And then for the month of September, I switched to pear. It's my favourite in the more of the autumn winter months. And then passion fruit is my favourite for the summer. Will repurchase, but not for the new price of £4.50. We have some bar soaps. We'll probably have more in the box um, or more that will probably pop straight in the recycling. But these are just a few. Have the Dove Beauty Cream Bar, the classic. And then we have two in the pink. These are every sink um, and in the shower, just for a base clean and for quick hand washing. Can't beat them. Good formulas and um, good value for money. We have some razors. These are Jay's. We picked these up in Turkey. Actually, he was in a bit of a pickle, a bit of a pinch for some razors. So he went with the Gillette Match 3 Star. To value for money. Works well. You get the handle and then three blades. No complaint. I have a shaving cream. This was the Super Drug, just like own brand. I got this on clearance. I think it was about $1.99. Don't know what makes it limited edition, but it was limited edition. This was okay. This just had no stick in power. The reason I use shaving cream is I have very very sensitive skin it cuts very easily and um, also for guidance like I don't want to be reshaving the same place three times if I have shaving cream on there and I've shaved away the shave cream I know I've shaved that spot if that makes sense so it's also great for guidance um yeah this just didn't stick very well and if I'm using it for guidance and it's just coming off in the shower I don't know where I've shaved it was just a little bit too watery just it just went off straight away so probably wouldn't repurchase this but for two pounds it was okay like some wipes so we have these were the little brand bathroom flushable wipes I am on my flushable wipes hunt just to find a staple I really enjoyed the Aldi but I thought why not give a couple more ago these were the flushable moist toilet tissues these were okay I found that they didn't stay Stay moist for very long but then I did take them on holiday with me and then bring them back so they've kind of been in a lot of environments. Hope it's just a staple to always have with you wherever you are. Um, these ones are okay, would pick them up in a pickle. And these are the Aldi brands, I, yeah these are the ones, the Saxon ones that I usually pick up. Yeah, these were great, can't complain. Like I say, flush for wipes are just a staple in your life. And then we have some micellar water facial wipes. I don't go through facial wipes too often um, and actually this pack me and my nan shared. The reason I usually use a makeup wipe is to actually clean the surface that I've been doing my makeup on, if that makes sense, because I'm always getting foundation and concealer and powder and dropping stuff. I also use this to clean my makeup bag, to clean my hand if I've been using, like, you know, pumping your foundation onto your hand and then put it onto your face, that type of thing. Just don't use makeup wipes a lot. I use toner, reusable cotton pads, so yeah. I don't even know where these were from or what, but they were they were fine. They were fine, like I say. Not something I repurchase very often and something I would just rub off my family if they already have in stock. I used up, uh, oh yeah, a full pack of the Cucumber Eye Mask from the body shop i picked these up in tk maxx for two pound 20 which is such a good price by the way because um these are now eight pound full price at the body shop which is so annoying but yep i used two packs and that is because i've been suffering really bad with my eczema around my eyelids i think it was just a combination of being on holiday then coming back to the cold weather i also wore quite a bit of makeup at the beginning of the month because i had some birthdays and weddings and events yeah, i've just been really struggling these help so much they help with me stop like itching the irritation and stop touching my eyes it helps so much it helps cool, it helps stop irritation, it helps moisturise. This is just always going to be a staple in my skincare routine. We have some toothbrushes and some toothpaste. These are the Wisdom. I actually really like these toothbrushes. These are the firm type. This was so, so good. I actually had my teeth um, like 
cleaned while we were on holiday. I had like a scale and polish and they felt so nice. And it was so nice to use this brush with it because it was just really like a harsh brush and I felt that's what I needed to really keep up with the clean that we had. Like these dead cheap definitely pick these up again. Then we have the Colgate Triple Action. This was the one everyone hated and I loved. This is the Colgate Triple Action but the gel. So you can see it's not like the usual three coloured paste, like a toothpaste. This is actually a gel. I really liked this. I really liked the texture. I found it a lot more gentle. I think it just it did a lot more than the paste. Sometimes I think the paste just has no like freshness to it. Everyone hated it. I liked it. Repurchase. Um, I actually prefer Colgate over Aquafresh at the moment. A couple mouthwashes. We have the Colgate Plax Cool Mint. Not my favourite, but we'll pick it up if it's the only one they have. This is my favourite. This is the Colgate Plax Soft Mint. I really prefer the Soft Mint. I don't usually fall into the trap of like travel size products because the price per mil is never worth it. But for holiday, this just made so much more sense than hauling a big one. This was just the 250 mil. We use this up in the week. Um, yeah, have repurchased the Soft Mint in the full size. This one is like super like sticky. I don't know what's leaked in the box. But I'm not going to hold it too close to the camera. But this is the Head and Shoulders Clean Classic. Jay took this on holiday with him. It's a classic. He always uses this one. Yeah, I need to buy some of the refill pouches for him. We have this huge ass achievement. This is the Nivea Soft in the 500ml. So my sister actually used this up. This is the huge tub. I got sent like a coupon once through my email for a Nivea Soft tub. So I ordered the two pack. And what I thought was two 250 mils, I thought, great deal, ordered it. They turned up and they were two 500 mils, so I ended up with a litre of Nivea Soft. Thankfully, it is mine and my sister Staples face cream, so we have no problem going through these. She finished this one up just before she moved away. Yeah, these are incredible. It was such a great value. I think I got two for like around like £11. So for a mil of face cream was great offer. I hope that offer comes back again soon. And yeah, a staple. We have the seaweed face wash from the body shop. Another absolute staple. My sister uses this on the regular. My boyfriend also uses this and I will use this time and time again, especially around like my period when my face is a little bit more oily. This is great for combination skin, combination to oily, great oil control. Love this, we'll always repurchase it. And then we have the Beauty Pie Triple Hyaluronic Acid Deep Moisture Miracle Cream with Plumping, Add Lift and the Polysaccharides. Um, okay. <laughs> my mum got this in like a box of like samples or like some sort of like beauty box. She really enjoyed this. It's a hyaluronic acid is always great for moisture. I think she enjoyed this. She really scraped every single inch out of there. But yeah, she's a body shop skincare like diehard fan. So I don't know if she would repurchase this, but it was kind of cute. Uh, we have my pocket bag holder. It broke. I finally give in and I got a new one. Have the Clarins Double Serum Hydric and Liptic System in Light Texture. I got this in a sample in one of my next orders. Sometimes they throw in beauty samples when you order from Next Beauty, which I'm always doing because that's where Bath and Body Works is. Give this one to my mum because I know it is an absolute cult favourite. She really enjoyed this one. It's £90 a bottle, so I'm sure if she could, she would purchase this, but the point of spending £90 on a serum, I think that's kind of a hard pill to swallow, especially when she loves the Body Shop ones and they're around £40. Pounds. So yeah, just stick to those. Did you really like this? We understand the hype, but for £90, there's other things on the market that are just as good. Dad finished up a Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. This stuff is, is really good, I'm going to say, because my dad really struggles with shaving. He really struggles with sensitivity, redness and cuts and things. And he used up this whole bottle for my dad to finish up a product at all is an achievement. But yeah, I'm going to say he enjoyed this. I'm going to say this is very good for sensitive shaving. We finished up a generic sanitizing hand gel. This is probably from like the COVID time, so it probably has expired. Yep, the expiry label has even rubbed off, but it's a thought that counts. It's gone now. I finished up the Body Shop Drops of Youth, Youth Concentrate, talking about things for the skin that are a little bit worth money on the market. This is perfect. I love this serum. It works amazing for my skin. I've not heard anyone talk bad things about this. This was the old style, old bottle and old formula. I have a couple of these left and I'll move on to the new Edelweiss formula. Yeah, always repurchase, always love. Just perfect for every skin type. Have a hair mask that me and my sister finished up just before she moved out. This is the Body Shop Banana, an absolute staple. Talk about this every time. We'll repurchase. Don't need to go into any more detail about this one. <laughs> have a mascara. I am so sad. This was like, okay, I'm gonna say it's finished. I'm also gonna say it's crusty and dusty. So I used up as much as I could of this before it got a bit ridiculous. 
This is the Soap and Glory Thick and Fast High Definition. This has definitely been open for over a year and the open date on these is six months. It was getting crusty, it was getting just like hard to get onto the spoolie. It was getting flaky on my lashes, I knew it was time to go. I have loads of others so I just opened a new one. Love this, will repurchase once I get through like the six that I have in my makeup bag. Really great mascara, love it, yeah. Not really more I can say about that. I have some nails. These are the Primark Pointed Matte. My sister had give the, given these to me when she moved out just to use. Um, I have gone back to getting them done by like a professional and not just using stick-ons. These were like a pointed shape. These were far too big for my nails. I had to cut them down to like a shape I would prefer, which was a bit annoying, let's be honest. But for a quick fix, when I'm in a proper pinch to have my nails look presentable, these worked fine for a pound they worked fine oh this was actually given to me by my sister's girlfriend she had a glossier fluid foundation um like sample pack these are super cute i'll have to ask her where she got these from so this came in the very light light and medium which she did use and then she left behind the medium tan the deep and the very deep i'm actually very tempted to give this medium tan a go while i still have some holiday tan which it doesn't look like today because it's so dull outside it's making me not look tan but I have a bit of a... Okay, I use SPF 50 on my face every day. It's never going to tan. Anyway, this medium tan could look okay. And maybe if I used some lightning drops with it. But yeah, this looks really cool. have to ask her where she got this from. She used up all her samples, so she must have liked it. I have to ask her more opinion on this, and I'll pop it in the description box. And then my sister, again, she was on a use up streak just before she moved out because she didn't want to take, like over half used things with her. This is the Black Musk Night Bloom. This is one of my sister's staple fragrances. Love this. It's so good. Oh, it's just deep and romantic. Oh, it's such a good perfume. This is the limited edition version of Black Musk from the body shop that they usually bring out around the E time. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. Pairs perfectly with her favourite Into the Night. Definitely repurchase this. We buy her a bottle pretty much every year. Okay, now we're down to pretty much just home fragrance items like wax and stuff. And then we can go on to hygiene. I told you it was going to be a long one. So, we have the Fabulosa Foam Refresher. I love this stuff. Honestly, this stuff is like magic says it can be used on carpets upholstery and room or just as a room refresher and this is the scent fairy dust these cans last so long every time after i've hoovered i will spray my carpet with it but something i discovered recently was using it on the seats in my car and the mats in my car and oh my god it is a game changer just take your mats out your car give them a spray wait for the foam to dissolve give your car a good hoover a good clean spray these on your seat as the last thing you're doing leave the doors open to let the foam like disperse shut the doors keep the scent in smells incredible seats look amazing i love this stuff it is magic stuff i'll definitely pay repurchase i quite like the fairy dust scent it smells a bit like palmer violets but not as powdery like sugary i'll uh, i'll have a little look and see what limited edition scents they bring out for this year but foam refresher definitely on my repurchase list um, another scent thing that i love this is the febreze this is in the limited edition strawberry swirl scent this was perfect for summer i loved this so much it smells so good it smells like sweet strawberries and cream but not like sickly vanilla i use this on every single sips of my room i use this on my carpets my bed in my actual bed my work chair this stuff it is yeah top tier uh, and this scent was really great i hope they keep it around for summer and i can't wait to dig into some limited edition autumn and winter ones okay i'm just getting all the last bits out of this box so right down the bottom we have some pens i love talking about pens stationery and books is another love of mine so i've been throwing these in there recently so we have uh, the paper mate flexi grip trap one i love these these are great these are like clicky ones um i like the hold on them i like the pen i like the ballpoint staples love them another staple <laughs> so we talk about pens but i love this pen the big medium we use these in our office generally um great pen this one looks like it's not being used up but this is like just where the ink stuck to the side it definitely isn't working anymore um also have a highlighter the data glow sq highlighter love these these are great for like a really thick tip love this color it was like a funky teal color sorry if you're not interested in pens okay i've jumped out um all of the wax melts because we did so well this month yeah, we did pretty well and i even have some samples um and some post notes of missing clams okay so let's address that first so this this represents a sweet plum sake yankee candle melt cup i put this downstairs in open concept went uh set the cup down like the empty cup down walked away come back someone has already recycled it I'm not gonna name names i'm not gonna play the blame game my family keep recycling stuff before putting it in the basket they're getting better especially my nan shout out to my nan she's doing so well keeping empties but 
this one just slipped through the net. So this is a sweet plum sake. This was from the spring limited edition line. It was really, really good. It was like a sweet, perfumey, like plummy scent. This wasn't very strong or very long lasting down in the open concept. They probably could have done with being in a bedroom. I liked it on cold. Just didn't really throw on warm. So we have Happy Place Juicy Mango and Coconut. This is from Sensationals. This was one that I started off and then give my nan to finish up. It's just something, I spoke about it before, something in the Sensationals like coconutty and fruity formulas that I don't like that I find really astringent, especially the coconut. I don't like Sensationals coconut. It was like coconut water. It's really astringent and sharp. And almost bitter but my nan will use up any wax melt in her little room any wax melt is going to be extremely long lasting in my nan's um little bedroom and she has an overnight one that she keeps on pretty much most of the day so they last ages she changes them out regularly um so she can go through a lot of wax so anything i want to use it's here you go nan here's a big pile for you to use and she's very appreciative so she really liked this um I actually smelled a lot better coming out of her room than whenever i used it wouldn't repurchase but my nan is open to using up any scents. <laughs> we have this little Woodwick Highly Fragrance Wax Melt in Lemon. Again, from my nan. My nan loves a lemon scent. This smells so good. It's like lemon with an undertone of like a woody note, an oody note. But definitely fresh, citrusy lemon. So good. I would definitely look out for this myself. And also finished up the Wickford & Co. Um, Beach Days. These are from Home Bargain. She picks them up all the time. This smells so good coming out of her bedroom. Definitely wasn't as strong as some of the other ones that she's used. It's more like a musky, outdoorsy, beachy scent. She's used this before, so it must be a repurchase on her list. So, a good one. Another Whitford & Co. is a hazy summer night. Again, she's definitely used this before, so I think it's a repurchase. This is like an astringent -y. It Smells a little bit like a bathroom. Like a clean bathroom. It smells a bit like bathroom cleaner. Like a hazy night. Almost like the night version of this one. Like, this is like the beachy day and this is like the beach in the night. <laughs> I don't know, good. Um, strong and yeah, I think she would repurchase those. Then we have Sensationals Autumn Air. Now this is the more type of scent that I like from Sensationals. It's like leaves on the ground. It literally smells like Autumn Air, like when it goes cold and crisp. So good. Again, we had this downstairs. I started this. We lived in our old apartment and passed this on to my mum. So there was a couple of cubes left. So we put it in one cube in each of the three warmers downstairs. Couldn't smell it. Well, no, I'm lying. I could smell it for like the first couple of hours. I just went to relitter today and just cannot smell it. No less than power, but a medium on throw, but in a very large space. So maybe this is more suited to like bathrooms, bedrooms. I would be purchased if I saw it to, again to give it another chance. And we have a little pile of Scentsy. We have a couple, again, these are all from Spit Out Around the House, but this one was from Nan. This is Summer Sunshine. I picked this up in a clearance section at some point. This is very coconut heavy, but this is a coconut that I quite like. It's like a milky coconut. So good. It just smells like the end of summer. Like it's coconut, not tropical, like smooth, milky coconut. Definitely, definitely strong coming out of Nan's bedroom. Um, I think she really enjoyed this one. I will pick her up again if I saw it in the sale. One that we used downstairs was the Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. This was another one that I had started off in my old flat and then brought here for um, to be used in the open concept. I'll do that sometimes. I'll just go through my wax collection and put some downstairs for everyone. Like a communal wax cupboard for people to use. This was one that I fell in love with and then, I don't know, something about it. There's a couple more actually in these empties that I was obsessed with and then it just, it fell off. This is like a beachy, aquata, watery, outdoorsy kind of scent. Definitely watery and beachy and perfumey. At first I just, I was obsessed with this and then, I don't know. I like it. If I had another bar, I'd be happy. But I wouldn't go out of my way to stock up on this like I first thought I would. It was nice downstairs and kind of like the air wafting through in a large space. Just kind of like beachy, outdoorsy, aquatic. But it just doesn't really match our setting of where we live. This would be so good for a beach house. Probably wouldn't repurchase. Another one that I absolutely loved. Repurchased so many times and now just can't stand to be completely honest. This is the Stitch Experiment 626 bar. Occasionally if I smell it I'm like oh yeah that's nice. But I used to be obsessed with this scent. Like had like three or four bars. This was my last bar. I'm so glad it's gone. This is a watery, aquatic, coconut, florally, perfumey. It's so hard to describe. And it is nice. Just think it's the setting we're in. It just doesn't suit. It doesn't really suit a bedroom. It might suit a bathroom maybe, but we don't have warmers in the bathroom. Just up in my bedroom and then popped it once downstairs just to get through it. Wouldn't repurchase. Liked it while I had it. Tentatively saying I liked it. Another one. I 
absolutely was obsessed with Mandarin and Mango Nectar when this came out in the summer collection last year. Had two bars, raced through one, and then was kind of savouring this one a little bit more. It's just generic and plain and boring. I don't know if it's because I've kind of been experiment more with my like scent categories and wax and things. This is just so generic. It literally is just mango and mandarin. It's just orange fruits. Maybe with a slight floral undertone. It's fresh, it's fruity, it's summery, it's nice. Glad I used it up, wouldn't repurchase. It's just so generic. But I enjoyed it while I had it. And we have two little samples. I've been on my Venza Wax game recently, buying from like little businesses and trying out some new blends and dupes and things. So I have a couple. These are from Sterling Scents. I did a little haul on my channel a couple of weeks ago. So we have autumn fruits um, in the sample. This was nice. This was just not really what it says like you think awesome fruits you think like apples and pears maybe a slight cinnamon like a little bit of a leafy scent this is fresh fruity this is like spring fruity it's sweet it's fruity it's fresh it's just a generic accumulation of lots of fruits probably wouldn't repurchase generic but i enjoyed it while it was on it was strong it was long lasting and we have apple slush i actually popped this in my warmer this morning i popped this sample because it was a very small sample cube with a cube of stylings just straight up apple and this is so good the apple slush is being drowned out by the actual apple it's really not as strong but it might be because the sample was so small this is just like an icy apple very artificial mixed with the apple straight up apple from sterling makes like the most incredible apple bubblegum scent ever it's so good it's artificial it's fruity it's like sweet it's so good i'm obsessed okay so that is all of the home fragrance and we have my hygiene bag to jump into so we have a bath and body works soap so this is the radiant sky it says rays of sunshine golden mango and juicy lychee and this is in the cleansing gel soap this is so good I love Radiant Skies so much. It's that lychee you know. I've been so into lychee this summer. Oh, so good. We use this up in the kitchen, I think. So obsessed with this. Glad I've got backups. Would repurchase. They need this in body care, like, ASAP. We have a shower gel. This is the Elia from DM. I grabbed this in Germany. So this is the Exotic Passion Passion Fruit and Mango Blend. I was using this in my Project Use It Up. I used it over summer while we had hot weather back in June. And then I took this on holiday and finished it up. This was so good. This was the perfect mango and passion fruit scent ever. It just smells like a drink that Costa would sell or Starbucks would sell over the summer. Smoothie. Oh, it was so refreshing and so fruity. Loved this on holiday. If I could get more, I would, but I'm not planning on going to Germany just for a shower gel anytime soon. Um, but loved this. We have a shower gel from Jay that snuck in. This probably should have gone in the miscellaneous, but this is the Lynx Epic Fresh. Fresh Bruce with grapefruit and tropical pineapple. This is the scent that he took on holiday. It's the most perfect masculine summer scent. Ever. Like to me, a lot of masculine scents either lean winter or just generic. This leans summer. It's fresh, it's free, it's masculine. I love it. I will repurchase this for him every single summer. It's so, so good. We have a scrub. This is the Soap and Glory Smoothie Start Breakfast Scrub. Smoothing blend with organic Baku bio scrubs, banana, almond, and honey extracts. I'm so so jealous about this product if i could use this product i would use this every single day of my life but it's that almond i'm allergic to nuts so my mom finished this one off this smells heavenly i need someone to make this in a wax melt immediately i need someone to make this formula nut free immediately it's like oats warm oats with a very very slight undertone of banana but not the sickly banana like the good banana with like nutty or so cozy oh my gosh it's so it smells so good and the formula on it looks so nice it's kind of like a granulated like soft creamy texture but you could tell it's going to give a good scrub my mum raves about this one i would just open it every so often just to like sniff because i wanted to use it so bad uh, i just realized on the top it says scented with almonds and caramel yeah i would definitely say it's an oc caramel i don't get as much almond because sometimes almond can lean a bit weird I love this. I'm so jealous I never got to use it. If they ever took the almonds out of this, I would buy 20. It's so good. Highly recommend. Definitely give this a try over the winter. I think this would be a gorgeous autumn cozy scent. My mango body scrub from the body shop. I was using this with the mango and passion fruit shower gel. This is the exfoliate and sugar scrub. This is the old formula and old packaging. My absolute favourite formula they've ever done in sugar scrubs. This is just like a proper sugar scrub. Oh my gosh. And it smells so authentic so so good 
I will buy these secondhand off Vinted for as long as I can. I don't like the new mango formula. I'm sorry. Wrong. Okay, they need to bring back these type of sugar scrubs. I love it. I'm glad I have a couple more. We'll never move over to the new formula because I don't like them, but would we purchase the old formula? I tried out these other Body Shop products because they kind of band together. This is the um, Summer Limited Edition line. So we have the Lychee Shower Gel. Well, lychee shower cream. So this one um, is, yeah, like that creamy texture that they do. This is the lychee. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. It's so good. It's lighty with an undertone of pear. It's incredible. This was actually my mum's bottle that she used up this summer, but I definitely used it a couple of times when it was in the shower. It's incredible. It's fresh. It's fruity. It's feminine. And every time anyone used this, it would just like flow out of the shower and the whole upstairs would just smell amazing. Like... I'm obsessed. This is what kicked off my lychee obsession. Would repurchase. I have, I think I have two in my collection at the moment. Then we have the Zesty Lime Blossom. So my mum used up the um, water gel body yogurt and then the shower gel. She took these on holiday. She also took these with the Tree Hut Pineapple Scrub, which she did use up and didn't bring back of holiday because she is not committed to the empties game like I am. I brought home all my holiday empties. She did not. So we'll start off with the water gel body yogurt. So if you're kind of familiar with the Body Shop body yogurt formula, they are that like creamy yogurt formula. This was the gel version. Um, she said it was a little bit sticky. It took a little bit longer to soak in, but she really enjoyed it on holiday. It was really nice and cool and the texture was really nice and lightweight. Oh, and the smell is so good. So she definitely would repurchase the gel formula, but specifically for summer and holidays. And then we have the shower gel. I used this a couple of times. I've got to say it wasn't very strong in the shower. It wasn't room filling or like floor filling like the light she was. I barely really smelt it in the shower. But yeah, it just wasn't as strong in the shower as I wanted it to be. But it smells so good in the bottle and yeah. would repurchase. I love Body Shop uh, limited edition scents in general. I have a little mini. This is the Rituals Ritual of Sakura Mini. This is called Magic Touch Body Cream in Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. Last month I had the mini like shower foam. This is what I was using it with. Hmm. This Magic Touch Body Cream is the bane of my life. It's just so odd. It's like thick and thin at the same time. The smell is strong and weak at the same time. But it's just, it's the texture. Like putting it on is like putting SPF on. Like you know those really cheap gloopy SPFs that just won't rub in. Like no matter what. There's just going to be white gloops all over. This is what this was like. It was really disappointing because I love the smell. I love the body scrub. I love the shower gel. So I wanted to love the body cream. I just don't. It's very odd. I think I might pick up the body butter to try or if they have a different formula of their body cream. But this formula wasn't my favourite. It took me so long to finish up because I just felt like if I used too much, it just wouldn't rub in. I wouldn't repurchase, but I love the smell and I love rituals. <laughs> we'll just get this controversial item out of the way. This is my Victoria's Secret Fallen Water. I'm going to address it straight away. This isn't finished. This has the tiniest, tiniest drop. But to stay consistent with my project user up, which I'll be filming in a couple of days... I'm going to call this an empty because I am going into the office tomorrow. This is my office scent, so this will be finished up in my one use at the office tomorrow. By Friday, this will be done, so I'm calling it a September empty. This is Victoria's Secret's Fall and Water. I had notes of dewy pear, blue moss, and a mesmerising moment. I love this. It is a aquatic-y, fruity, fresh, masculine scent. It's so, so good. It's so strong. I think this is really, really strong on initial spray. It lasts ages. I use this as my office scent because I just think it was so nondescript and non-offensive. It's so good. I say masculine as in it's not feminine. It's not sweet. It's not got like the undertone of like a feminine that you would usually get from Victoria's Secret. It's so aquatic. I loved it so much. If I could repurchase this, I would. It was just perfect for the office. It will remind me of my new job always because I used it on my first day. Love this. Love the packaging. Loved this whole collection. Hope they bring it back one day. And then we have just a couple Bath & Body Works shower gels. So we have the Gingham shower gel. We finished this up. This has notes of Blue Freesia, White Peach, Fresh Clementine, Violet and Clean Must. A Bath & Body Works absolute classic. Yeah. I like this. It's okay. I didn't mind using it. I wish the Clementine came out just slightly more. I get a lot of the Clean Musk, Blue Freesia and Violet. I wish the Peach and Clementine was a little bit more forward, but I just love my fruity scents. I enjoyed it while I had it. Wouldn't repurchase. I think I have a couple more in my collection, but it is a Bath & Body Works staple, so you can't go without it. Then we have some of the faceted. We have a strawberry pound cake. This is like the white cake and like frosting and strawberry notes. I definitely didn't use this. I don't like it. I'll never be a strawberry pound cake girl. I can't get behind it. My family helped me use this up. I think in particular my mum, so shout out to them. 
but glad this is gone, would not repurchase. Then we have the absolute opposite of my scale. One of my absolute favourites is the Winterberry Wonder. This is like frosted vanilla, cranberries. Love this one so much. Have so many backups in my collection. It was so good in the summer, like especially towards the end of summer, like August, September time. I really enjoyed this. And have repurchased, will repurchase, an absolute favourite. I have a couple more gingham items. We have the Foman body scrub that I did cut up. There was so much left down the bottom because this is so thick, it was really hard to get through the cap. So yeah, I'd scrape out as much as I could. Same notes. This was a really nice formula, like I say, it was just really, really, really thick. I had to use water to kind of get a proper, like, lather on it and, like, really be able to spread it over your body. If you use this straight onto your body, it's going to burn. It's probably going to cut. I mean, I'm very sensitive. I love using a lot of scrub. I love scrubs, but this was just, like, really, really thick and pasty. Do you need to run it under a bit of water first? But love the formula. Would repurchase, just not in gingham. And then we have the Fine Fragrance Mist. Um... Yeah, this was the 2022 version, so from last year. A friend had given me this half use and we just finished it up. We used this as a room spray, like, all over the house. My sister was using it um, before she moved out, left the tiniest bit to me, so I just used it as a linen spray. Wouldn't repurchase. Although I did like it as a refresher, it's just too powdery. There's absolutely none of the fruit in the mist. I see the most fruity is the shower gel, and then this is just, like, pure white floral, fresh. So, wouldn't repurchase, but it's okay. We have a couple of hand creams. My mom is very, very um, diligent with her hand creams. She always has two for me every month. And then this one was actually from my sister. This is in Butterfly. She actually picked this up last April. It's been open since last April, but she finally finished it up. This is Butterfly. It's a clean, perfumey floor. She liked it. I gave her the body cream in it because she liked it so much. So very positive. Uh, then we have the Spiced Orange Ham Bar. My mum loved the Spiced Orange from Body Shop last year's um, Christmas Limited Edition. She has loads. She doesn't need to repurchase if it ever comes back. She's stocked, trust me. And then she also finished up the Rose from Body Works. This is one that you'd think rose, like it's just going to be floral and like powdery, but it's actually really fresh. Got a bit of a fruity note to it. I think it might be pear. It's actually quite good and um, a floral I enjoy. Okay, last two items. We have two body creams. Into the night. This obviously came from my sister. Like, say she was on her use it up game before she moved out. All the packaging's come off because she's had this open for so long. This has notes of raspberry noir, gramba crystals, velvety rose petals, creamy patchouli and mocha musk. Definitely repurchase. She loves this, her staple scent, but she has enough to last her a lifetime, trust me. But if she ever ran out, I would repurchase for her. And then we have Sunshine Mimosa. This was my kind of summer scent this year. Uh, bright Bubbly Champagne Fresh Citrus. I was using it with the mango scrub and the passion fruit and mango shower gel. I really enjoyed it. It's just boring. No, it's just generic, fruity, fresh, bubbly. I have a bit more in my collection. I think I have the shower gel and the mist. It's just a good summer staple, but it's nothing exciting. I really like the packaging. It was fun. Probably would repurchase. I always see it in the sale, but it's not one that's like on my top favourites list and I need to run out and get. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. The mess. I'm going to get this all sorted and into the recycling bin. I, yeah, I'm very proud of this month. I think we had a very like mixed, mu mixed bunch of items this month. Did very well in our wax melts. Did very well in our bath and body works which, trust me, my collection just fits now on its storage, so I need to be on a constant, if I buy something, it needs to be used up, so I think we're doing well, so I don't even know, how many shower gels did we actually do this one? Okay, from what I could find in the crazy pile in the floor, I have four miscellaneous, and three Bath and Body Works, that's seven, that's pretty good, three hand soaps, two fragrance mists, two scrubs, two body cream, yeah, okay, look, we did well, Okay, if anyone ever wants me to leave my spreadsheet of what, of like my numbers and things, let me know because I do always do a spreadsheet. I also have an inventory of my products so I know what's coming in and out. Anyway, talking too much. Project Keeps Up Finale and introduction are coming soon. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you so much for 600 subscribers. I can't even believe it. It's amazing. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. I think that's everything. Um, see you next time. I hope you enjoyed.